Hi guys, welcome to Diesel Land. Um, new Diesel Schmidt landed yesterday, so just going to have a quick run through and look at all the bits and pieces that it does. Um, by diesel standards, it's a pretty simple amp. It's three channels. Uh, we've got clean on the top, uh, its own reverb, uh, bass, middle, treble, and volume. Uh, we then got channels two and three. So two is obviously dirty, three is much more crunchy, much more dirty, and uh, probably the lead channel. Uh, they share the reverb and the bass, middle, and treble. Each has its own volume and gain, so we're just going to have a quick look at that today. So look, let's start with the cleans. So I'm running um, Fender Strap Custom Shop, we've got a bare knuckle in the bridge, Lindy Freyland's um, running it into a two notes torpedo live, just to manage the volume and get the recording. It's a Marshall Cab simulation um, with vintage 30 speakers, so you know what you're going to get. Volume is running at about 12 o'clock, um, bass and mids are pumped up treble is down so we should probably move that around shouldn't we let's put the trebles up a bit and the bass and the mids down um, reverb was on but is is barely turned up so look let's turn that right up and see what that does Reverb sounds pretty good so far. It's not overpowering. You're not going to drown in reverb. I think the mix balance um, has been done really, really well. Early signs. Um, as you can see, we've got a, a bunch of switches across the front here. So um, if you're out and about, you can just flick things on and off, which is really nice. And the foot pedal is enormous. <laughs> But what I do love is this, is just the guitar cable. It's just a normal mono guitar cable and it manages to run all of these functions off that. I'd love to know how they do that. Every other amp manufacturer should take a valuable lesson from this. Um, complicated stuff can be done really, really easily with just a normal mono guitar cable. Uh, massive thumbs up for that. That's absolutely brilliant. Makes our lives really, really easy. Um, and don't have to buy special cables or special plugs and all that sort of junk. Um, so like I said, reverb is foot switchable. It goes on and off. Let's have a look at channel two. Now that said, look, everything's at 12 o'clock here. We'll turn the, um, the trebles and the mids up a bit. That's probably what I do when I'm out gigging. Volume's at 12 o'clock. Now here's the interesting thing. Gain is full. Gain is on 11. This is very much appears to be a rock and roll sort of amp. It's not a metal amp at all. Um, I know diesels, some diesels have that reputation. This one is not in that category. Um, volume back a bit on the guitar. You know, it does clean up because it's not pushing the amp too hard there. Um, let's try single coils. Yeah, some really nice single coil sounds there. Um, we'll try the reverb. Coming back to my point before, I think the reverb is balanced really nicely there. It's on about 12 o'clock, about halfway there. Um, look, just for the hell of it, let's turn it up and see what it does.
So yeah, you're not drowning in reverb there, which is really nice. I think they've got that mix right. Um, lastly, channel three, as we said, does share the EQ. I'm just gonna roll it back to 12 o'clock to halfway there, just so you know what it does. <laughs> You know, this is getting into more diesel land, um, certainly that crunchier, gainier, metally sort of sound. Um, again, gain is all the way up there, volume to 12 o'clock. Let's turn the reverb. Um, oh, reverb is on, sorry. Yep, let's turn the mids and trebles up a bit. So yeah, really liking that channel, you know, that's why you buy a diesel. <laughs> um, let's um, play a little bit of a band thing and just hear how it sits in the mix. Yeah, let's just um, try this with a bit of a band mix thing and see how it sits. So here we go. 